the last six years, California has become synonymous with drought, but 2017 starting off in a completely different way. Let's start off with a look at the drought monitor from January of 2015. Two years ago, socked in by extreme and exceptional drought and even into 2016. This time last year, we felt like the drought couldn't be touched. But then the end of 2016 and early 2017 brought a parade of storms well above average snowfall and rainfall that was too much at times with flooding and entire towns losing power because of all of the snowfall. But we started to chip away at that drought monitor. Here's a look at last week's across California and Nevada. Not only did we see major improvements to the extreme drought in the lighter shade of red, but also the exceptional drought down to just 2%. Now watch as we get into this week's drought monitor. The exceptional drought totally gone. The extreme drought all but eradicated. We went from 22% of the state of California under that extreme drought to now just 2% and that exceptional drought totally gone. About 60% of the state at least at a dry level. But if we can keep that above average precipitation going, like much of the western US has been two to three times normal in the last 30 days, anywhere shaded in blue seeing those totals, this could be huge as we start to think only not only of the short term drought with the drought monitor, but also long term drought, not only with the rain seeing about an inch and a half above average in San Diego for the year LA five inches or more above average, but looking at the snowpack in the Sierras with the entire state sitting at about 191% of average for snowpack. This is huge because by the time we hit spring, it's this melting snowpack that is going to replenish the reservoirs and hopefully keep chipping away at that massive expansive drought.